How much sugar are there in our daily drinks? Welcome to another episode of SG Doctor Wellness. There are certain beverages that are essential go-to drinks on a daily basis for many of us. A number of these drinks, just the serving of it, actually contain sugar levels that take up a big part of our daily recommended sugar intake. We have discussed the harms that sugar brings to our body in the long run in the previous episode. Click here to view it if you haven't already. Now, in this episode, we will uncover the actual sugar levels of five common local beverages. Click here to subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness content. I have picked out some common local beverages so as to give you an idea of how much added sugar is in each of them. So at the back of your head, please remember that added sugar intake should be about 40 to 50 grams on a daily basis. Number one, isotonic drink contains about 15 grams of sugar. Well, between 15 to 20 grams. Please go easy on this, especially after a workout. Plain water for hydration is as effective as isotonic drinks. Remember this, you put in so much sweat and effort to get through an exercise session. Don't ruin it by consuming more added sugar at the end. It is really, really counterproductive. Number two. Next will be our kopi and teh. The normal ones with condensed milk. This constitutes to 22.5 grams of sugar. If you are thinking of having your caffeine fix, you should consider kopi o siu tai or teh o siu tai less sugar or no condensed milk versions, which has only about 9 grams of added sugar. Look at the vast difference. Next up will be energy drinks. Probably something we might reach out for for the extra boost of energy while burning the midnight oil. This small can of concentrated drink has 27 grams of added sugar. One other detrimental aspect of energy drinks is that it contains a vitamin called nasin. Too much of it can actually cause liver damage. So please take note. Now, this is the most popular of all beverages, which is a can of soft drink. 35 grams of added sugar. My gosh, one can is able to wipe out your entire day's limit. The last on the list, which by now, all of us would know the exact sugar content answer to this beverage, will be a whopping 60 grams in your mocha frap with whipped cream. One serving of this can will exceed your daily limit by almost 10 grams of sugar. It is that much. And no, taking out a whipped cream doesn't help a lot. The drink will definitely still have more sugar than your conventional can of soft drink. There is another worthy mention I would like to highlight here, which is not in the list, but that is your fruit juice concentrate. You know the ones that you find in the supermarket fridge section, those one liter cartons, which usually have a big, big label indicating that they do not have added sugar. Okay, let me clarify and advise on this. Please try to moderate and treat this like consuming any other sugar beverages. If you were to flip over to the nutrition facts panel, some of them can have sugar content of more than 25 grams a serving. Each one liter carton is about four servings worth. Now, why are there such high sugar levels and yet the labels indicate otherwise? Well, these beverages are essentially made from fruit juice concentrate, which basically means that the fruit juices are being boiled until the, the liquid has evaporated, leaving a thickened syrup. This concentrated version actually contains a combined sugar content of a number of whole fruits combined. My advice were to just stick to whole fruits. My experience is that I have personally witnessed consumers buying an entire pack and drinking it down in one sitting. The whole liter of fruit juice. Just imagine how much sugar the person has consumed. 25 times 4 servings, which is 100 grams of added sugar. These are times where ignorance and ill-informed is not a bliss. All right. We have come to the end of this episode and hope you have found the information shared useful. Always remember that added sugar is not something our body needs. We will function well enough with the naturally occurring sugar that is already in our daily meals. Subscribe and like and share. Till the next time, 
stay safe and stay healthy.